As musician Emerson shoots a promo in the streets of Freetown, people gather around. They just want to be near him. I know what people go through, and my music stands as that, um, that voice. You know, because of course it's, it's, it's clear that a lot of people cannot see things for themselves, they cannot express for themselves. Everybody go face their own judgment. The musician often sings about political issues affecting his country, Sierra Leone. His latest song is called Mugo Boss Pan Matches. Loosely translated, it means a kid in a candy store. Emerson says since the song came out, the government has denied him access to play a concert in Freetown with no clear explanation. Billboards of his face have been destroyed, and he says he's been threatened. One DJ who wishes to remain anonymous says that his station manager told him not to play Emerson's current hit. He's another from above. He did not mention, as you likely see, the information is classified. He did not mention any name to me, so we just stop. Still, it can be heard in the streets. In his song, Emerson calls out the government on several issues, such as millions of dollars missing in Ebola funds, inconsistent electricity, and unemployment. According to the United Nations Development Program, 70% of youth are unemployed or underemployed in Sierra Leone. The average person lives on less than $2 a day here, and this year the country faced a severe water shortage. The government says it has no issue with Emerson's music. The government cannot in any way, you know, muzzle the freedom of expression of its citizens, and uh, we, we, we are very much committed to the promotion of free expression. Hello, yeah, honorable. Yet others have been put in jail for accusing the government of corruption, including journalist and radio host David Tamboyo. Where there's corruption, that is, he, that is where you see uh, poverty being instilled in the people. We cannot develop, we'll not be able to develop as a country if we do not fight corruption. He says Emerson's music may be popular again in the next election, likely set for 2018. During the presidential vote in 2007, Emerson had a song critiquing the government. That government is no longer in power. <laughs> Meanwhile, Emerson says he will continue his work and won't let anyone intimidate him. Just like the title of his album says, he's a survivor. Nina DeVries, Al Jazeera, Freetown, Sierra Leone.